In this episode, we will look at the tragic case of Ryasha, 31, who was murdered by her ex-boyfriend Justin Lewis in Atlanta, Georgia, after she refused to terminate the pregnancy. In front of her eight-year-old kid, he shot her seven times. Ryasha was killed by a prominent rapper who was also involved in other crimes. He murdered her after she filed a restraining order against him. Before we begin this video, we would like to express our deepest sympathies to the family and friends who were severely affected by this horrible crime. We would also like to send condolences to Ryasha's family and friends. Today's case takes us to Decatur. Decatur is a city located in the state of Georgia. The city has a population of around 25,000 residents. The city of Decatur is highly sought after by families because of its robust educational system. A number of excellent private schools are also available, including St. Thomas More School, The Friends School, Waldorf School, and a Montessori School. Risha Danielle Hurd, better known as Rain Harris, was born in Atlanta, Georgia on April 27, 1992. She was a young mother with two wonderful boys, Rajai and Riley, and she was expecting a third. She was a sweet, caring soul who enjoyed having fun. She was a lovely lady who was always ready to meet you with a warm grin. People who knew her described her as a family person, family meant everything to her, and her children were the center of her existence. Rain was a remarkable person who affected the lives of everyone who had the pleasure of knowing her. Her dazzling grin was contagious, bringing love and positivity to everyone in her path. She had an ability of brightening even the darkest days with her warmth and laughter. Rain had an amazing capacity to raise moods and transform ordinary events into extraordinary memories. This is demonstrated by how tenderly she cared for her children. Just let me do it. Wait, wait a minute, Riley. It's gonna be your turn. Now it's your turn. My turn. Uh oh, Riley, come on. Rain was in a relationship with a man named Mad Music Cali. Mad Music Cali, born Justin Renee Lewis, is a New Orleans, Louisiana-based rapper. He began his musical career at an early age and was inspired by artists such as the Hot Boys. He wanted to be a rapper since he was a child, and his journey into music began with ingenuity. He began recording music at home with equipment he obtained through dubious means, including a computer. He gradually began to shape his career. Mad Music Cali was very active on social media, particularly Instagram, where he had a sizable following. In addition, he ran a YouTube channel called Mad Music Records. When Mad Music Cali moved to Atlanta, he fell in love with Rain. It is uncertain when they began dating, however the relationship ended because it became toxic. Rain becomes pregnant throughout the course of their relationship, and it appears that Mad Music Callie is not pleased with the pregnancy, as he requests that she terminate the pregnancy when she was already two months pregnant. He went to her house a few months before asking her to terminate, waited at the side of the house, saw her, and opened fire on her black Chrysler 300 one night. He flew away. He then threatened her and claimed that the only reason he didn't shoot her was because the clip dropped out of the weapon, but his family and Rain never reported this to authorities. On October 11, 2023, Rain was with her 8-year-old son. She had just arrived at her parents' home. She got out and walked to the trunk to get her luggage. Mad Music Callie stopped at Rain's residence after spotting her in the driveway. He then shot her three times in the back, once in the chest, once in her leg, and once in the head. Her relatives saw everything while her son was with her. 
Her friend spoke to Fox after she died. Raisha's besties who have known her since ninth grade say they will miss so much about her. Her smile. She always had a, a smile, a big smile. She she touched a lot of people's lives. She had a, a lot of friends and she was just so loving and caring. She's a loving and caring person. She's a life of the party. We don't have a... Positive. Positive. Never negative. I just feel like I just want justice for her. Justice that Raisha Hurd's best friends say is coming too slowly. The young mother of two boys, who's described as the life of the party, was gunned down, DeKalb police say, in her parents' driveway. Family members say Raisha was getting groceries out of the trunk when someone ambushed her from the side of the family's home on Kelly Chapel Road. Lewis was seen on social media days after the shooting discussing the death of the 31 year old this is a girl i used to mess with you feel me like so i don't know what to say about that i feel like if they people felt like this they they spreading the rumors through the internet it's crazy how everybody try to bring you down when they really don't even know what's going on so the girl the girl the, so the girl who got killed that wasn't even your baby mama Nah. the the one from now like the one that they saying it could have been a possibility by possibility you feel me so that was your current girl girlfriend nah. I ain't got no girlfriend, no girlfriend at all. <sighs> you feel me? Only thing is my wife. That's the only girl, you feel me, that right. ever, my wife. Rain's family is seeking justice since the mother of two chose to leave the relationship after he became too aggressive. Her family is seeking restitution. However, this is not the only family who believes the rapper murdered a loved one. He mentions his wife, but the artist does not elaborate. 25-year-old Sydney Dalcor, more commonly known as China Doll, was a rapper. Sydney and Lewis were married for five years, but he gradually became violent. He used to give her a black eye, put her in the hospital, and she had staplers in her skull. He would fight her for looking beautiful when she dressed up. But Sydney would stay, hoping he would change, but things just became worse. On May 18th, 2017, the 25-year-old had just gotten off work as a waitress when she was shot to death in her car outside her New Orleans apartment complex. Police stated she was parked between two buildings with the engine still running at the time. Her relatives claimed he was involved because she had no enemies and the single witness they had refused to testify. The cops couldn't even verify he was at the crime site. However, the authorities made certain that he did not get away with the death of Rain Harris. Matt Mizzick Kelly was apprehended. He is awaiting his preliminary hearing. Rain and Sydney's families are relieved, and they hope that justice will be done. Rain's family said she was a kind, caring, and beautiful person who touched the lives of many people around her. May her family find comfort, and may her soul rest in peace. If you would like to stay updated with this type of content, Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the following video.